I would not recommend gas station chili dogs when you have a long drive. Whew. Hey guys, I'm Mighty Mike. We're here on Georgetown. This is my survival series. I own this cabin, that truck, an axe, and a chainsaw. Take a look at the map here. My property is this parcels up here. In this corner of the map, it is all forest, no fields. My goal for this series is to eventually move to one of the farms on the map. And I have not decided which one yet. We'll have to uh, ex do a little exploring and uh, check it out, see what I can afford. If you notice, I am playing with Seasons. Six days, and we're playing on, on hard difficulty. The rules for this series is I cannot sell this truck or the property that I start with. Uh, I am going to allow myself to do contracts, but only if I own the equipment. And that's it. Rest, I'm just going to have some fun and uh, get going. So I have scouted out the land a little bit. And there's an area back down that way that I do want to clear out. But the first area I want to start with is going to be over here. Uh, this land is pretty hilly. So I'm going to have to uh, kind of pick where I want to open it up for fields. So this direction over this way is where I want to start. So I guess I need to get started. I have no money and time's a ticking. I'm going to bump up to a 15x speed there, and we're going to get to it. Welcome to my survival series.
But yeah, I do not have Lumberjack mod on. So we are going to have to grind these stumps out. The trees are really, really large on this map, which is should be pretty good as far as getting some good profits. So I'm not sure how much I can pick up. Let's see if I can pick that much up. I don't think I can. Nope, it's not looking like it. Let's cut it in half again. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to cut some of this log up here. Well, how do I have negative two dollars? Well, that's not right. Three. to make some money I'm going in the hole I pull the truck over and start loading it down I am going to be asking for uh, viewer help as this series progresses. Uh, once I get some money here, obviously the first thing I'm going to need is some sort of trailer and possibly some type of loader of some sort, possibly a tractor with a front loader. So start thinking about that. Give me some ideas for some equipment I could get on this first purchase. I'll load up a few logs here. It is quite a trek back down to the lumber yard or the sawmill, so I'm going to have to try and get as much on here as I can. These logs are fairly large. I wish I could cut them longer. Try that one. That's a little bit longer there. Yeah, oh yeah, I can pick it up. Now I do have the firewood mod installed. So my thought was to sell some of these logs and possibly get a little bit of money to go buy some firewood pallets and some of these trees that are not straight like this I think there's some around here like that one it's hard to uh, log those so we can use the uh, firewood mod and those trees over there Man, I hate these trees. But we can use the uh, firewood pallets for those. Might make getting rid of some of those a little bit easier. I guess I should have pulled the truck over a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm going to kick this into a little bit of a time lapse here. I want to get this loaded down and uh, head down to the sawmill make my first run and see what this load brings
right, we're almost down here to the sawmill. First thing I'm going to do, I'm already going to change. I'm going to drop back down to a 5x speed. 15 seems to be rolling along pretty quick. May adjust that as we go along. I want to keep the days moving, but it also seems like it's moving pretty quick. So until we see how things are going to progress here, I'll drop it back down to 5. Alright, that sawmill is noisy, jeez. Oh, 2600. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is I should be able to go buy some pallets now. Some firewood pallets. I'm going to go grab a few of those. There is a nice firewood cell point right here. So I'm going to head over to the shop. We'll get those pallets. down to the shop and get those pallets bought. If you noticed, I did uh, take a wrong turn. Still learning my way around this map. We'll get a few of these. Maybe six. Okay, where do these things spawn? Right there. Well, that's convenient. Look at these guys loaded up. I don't know how many I'll fit on the truck. Uh, they bet might better turn them the other way. Probably only going to end up with four on the truck. out go with that all right we got those strapped in we'll head back to the farm we'll have to come pick those up at another time we have them down here for when we're ready for them okay back up here at the house want to unload most of these pallets I'm not sure they get pretty heavy so I don't know what this truck is how this truck is going to handle with the weight so we'll try just one right now maybe yeah we'll just go with one I don't want to uh, overload the truck the road back down is pretty rough so I don't want to have too much weight and make the uh, truck too top heavy I was having trouble getting this log to delim here. Still having trouble with it. Not sure what's going on. Some of them are coming off. Well, really doesn't matter. I'm just going to uh, start cutting it, cutting this up.
Let's make sure that's going to work. Yep, doing a good job. All right, I'm going to kick this into a little time lapse. Get this tree cut up. Well, it looks like it was uh, filling up one of these other pallets, which is a good ways away. I'm using a slightly modified version of this firewood mod. So the uh, pickup on those pallets are <laughs> it's a good distance. So I have to keep that in mind because now there's no way I can pick that pallet up until I get a machinery to do so. So I'm going to head down and sell this load of firewood and see what I end up getting for it. Kind of curious to see what I'll get and where that puts me. So let me head down that way. We'll meet up at the uh, firewood sell point. Well, here we are at the firewood sell point. Let's see what we end up with. 4,000. I was expecting a little bit more than that. But that's okay. Alright, so we're sitting at 63, almost 6400 dollars. Not a whole lot. Well, it is starting to open up a little bit. I ended up taking down two of the uh, big oak trees. Got those, and then one of the spruce trees, I guess it is. So starting to get a little opening here. We'll continue working on it, but the truck is full. I have two pallets full, and then I also stack some logs on. So, I'm going to head down to the firewood cell point and the sawmill. Drop all of this off. Hopefully, we'll be over 10,000. Alright, we're almost back down here to the firewood cell point. But I do have to say... This is uh, probably a little bit too much of a load for this truck. It is bouncing all over those rough roads. Now we'll go up here to the sawmill and sell these logs. That is a cool looking truck. I really like this. Glad I found it. I don't expect too much out of this. Yeah, a thousand dollars. But I'm sitting at fifteen thousand. Which is pretty good. For just a, a little bit of work. A couple hours. So. That's going to be a good stopping point. I believe for this episode. Well I went on down to the shop. And picked up those other two pallets. And bought another. So I have three there on the truck. 
do have this one over here which is partially full but I can't pick it up now it's too heavy but that one will have to stay there until I get some equipment down my challenge to you is give me some suggestions on what I should purchase first do you think I should get a trailer so I can make my trips down to sell the wood a little bit more efficient maybe I should get a loader or a tractor let me know what you think in the comments below or feel free to join my discord channel I have the invite link in the description of this video and I'll create a Georgetown survival channel there and you can leave those suggestions in that channel either place will be fine now, I appreciate you watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like if you're not a subscriber I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel I do plan on doing some live streams on this series I hope you'll find the time to join me for those as always I do appreciate all of the support all of the positive comments the views the likes it is all very much appreciated so that'll be all for this episode and we will see you here next time